Close. In unity. Hey, I want to thank you, uh, Ishmael and Amy Serrano, for uh, being interviewed. How did you know that God was calling you into missionary service? Well, you know, I accepted the Lord at the age of 12. And that same night that I accepted the Lord, I said, Lord, whatever you want me to do, wherever you want me to go, here I am. And I, I really don't think I knew what I was saying. But those words came out of my mouth. I remember just like it was today. And I was 12. And um, that was my first, first calling. And then we had a calling once we were married at a mission service. Uh, the preacher made the call. He said, you know, you know that God has called you to the mission field. I want to pray for you. I went forward. He went forward too. We just had that burning thing inside that said, you know, you've been called. Well, I felt the uh, peace of God in my heart uh, when I accepted his, his calling. Uh, I knew that the Lord wanted me in the ministry. In the beginning, I did not, I was not interested in the ministry at all. Uh, but then, when I didn't feel the, the, I didn't, I really didn't feel the, the peace of God in my heart until I accepted his calling upon my life. Mm -hmm. And from there on, I just depended upon the Lord as he led me, I, I just followed. Mm -hmm. And I always felt the peace, his peace in my life. And uh, his name has been glorified before we have gone. And, uh, we have done his, his will and purpose for our lives. Yes. How long was it when you first received your call until you actually went to the field? In my case, uh, I was uh, in third year of Lee, Lee University when the Lord called me uh, to the mission field. And uh, a year, two years after that, that's when we left to the mission field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, right after he finished Lee, we saw everything. We thought that was enough training. Uh, we, we were associate pastor at one of the churches before going to Lee and all that. And, we thought that would be enough training to go to the mission field. So we had filled out the application of World Missions and without, you know, we thought that was it. He finished leave. So we sold our house, started selling everything. We were going to go to the mission field. And when we went to, uh, uh, to the missions and, and spoke to the one that was in charge at that time, Brother, I forgot his name right now. Anyway, he said, you guys need to have more experience before we can think of sending you to the mission field. You know, you start pastoring or doing something else for a while until the time comes. So that, that was disappointing right there. But we knew that we just had to wait on the Lord then. So we went to Are the you glad that you listened to his advice? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. In fact, that, there was a, a question that says, what did, uh, it says in hindsight, after you were on the field, what would you have done differently to prepare yourself for the mission field? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which I guess that kind of helped you uh, in hindsight. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. We pastored a church for for one year. That's one of the reasons why it took two years instead of one. And uh, we pastored for a whole year, and then uh, the missions uh, rep called us up and. Uh, said to us, are you ready to, to go to the mission field? And I said... Is he uh, still interested? Yeah, yeah. And I said, yes, uh, we are. And then he gave us uh, some time, like a few months, and, uh, and he said, well, just call me when you're ready. And I, I told him right then and there that we're uh, ready. We were ready. <laughs> we were ready. So, you know, in a few weeks after that, uh, we went uh, to Mexico as missionaries in 1977. That was our first time. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone preparing for missionary service? 
I guess not to impose your culture. Uh, that's that's important. Not to talk about your education. Uh, no, don't try to impress the nationals in any way. Just work with them. Uh, try to get to know them, to work with them, uh, and uh, just just serve. Mm -hmm. you, you go there as a missionary to serve. It's a servant of God, not not to uh, tell the nationals what to do or how to do it, uh, unless you know you're a teacher, and then you could do that. You could help the nationals, you know, to improve and to be more effective. Uh, and what they're doing for God, but not otherwise, yeah. But if they're preparing to go, I, I would think that they need to maybe go on a short term to get some hands-on experience or go alongside a missionary and see what, to really see if that's what you really want to do. And I think now you can get a, a plane ticket, you know, with time you can pay for it and, uh, and go, you know, the, the place that God puts on your heart. But I think that you need to prepare yourself. The more you prepare yourself, the better. But yet, like he said, don't go with, you know, this idea that you know more than they do, you know, because that, that won't go over it too well. Yeah, right. <laughs> Given your unique perspective as a missionary who's traveled abroad, what advice would you give to the church in America? Lord, I, I think one that right now comes to my mind is um, do what you can here, you know, look around you, you know, what is your Jerusalem? Look around and see what you can do in your community to better your community. That's like a, your first mission call. And then start praying for a people's group that hasn't been reached and start praying for that. You know, and that would be a, a point of, of starting. Um, and and to tell you the truth, if I can tell, I personally think that every pastor, whatever missionary comes knocking on your door, help them out. <laughs> because tomorrow it might be your kid or your grandchild that's going to be doing that, and you sure want them to treat them nice. So I wish every church would be like, this church, that's so mission-minded, but not all churches are like that. So I don't know. Yeah, that's good. I agree with you.